high level meeting, I keep you now in a dream. Smaddy whispered to me and said, them see some special vehicle. I drive round at the back of Devon Road, I sign in tonight. Yes! Special meeting up at Devon Road. Them now take the front in a Jamaica. Them I take the back figure round cause them no one see boat. Hey, hey. Smaddy whisper said to me about after six this evening. Them see what set a high level people. Oh yes. You know Jamaica. I want to say something to the private sector organization of this country. Let me drink from a nice clean cup before I talk. Mm. Mm. Who want me to deal with the private sector organization of this country? Who want me to deal with the private sector organization of this country? Say talk teacher. And bless up the super chat, bless up the cash up, bless up this jail, bless up something. Because I went talk. Now, Jamaica. I don't know if you have heard, but the private sector organization of this country has come out talking about how they would have preferred if. the emancipation and independence celebration is merged. And I was like, the private sector asking for a merger of the in the emancipation and the independence. I'm going to touch on something that many of them don't like, but it's the truth. Many of you private sector organization members are descendants of slave owners. I'm going to say it again. All right. Partner draw. Many of you private sector the organization members. If I start bring up on the issue, they're not going to like it, you know. Many of you are from the remnants of slavery. Many of you forefathers shackled, shackled. Many of the Jamaican people. It's not like me telling, if you know your history, go and research the names and you will carry them back to the plantocracy. So when I hear that your productivity level is being stifled, I said to myself, is this is, is the plantocracy in them, you know? Is the slave owner mentality in them, you know? So, according to them, productivity is being lost. But I'm going to say to you, our forefathers fought for our emancipation. Our political forefathers Fought for our political independence. I see many foolishness and skullduggery happening in this country. But you, the pure soldier, yes, you Metrisiaga, you have done nothing about it. But here is the hypocrisy, Courtney. TikTok, who want to hear the hypocrisy? Hear the hypocrisy, you two. You're aware 
that there are other holidays in this country that are very close. On the one me talk, don't it? On the one here, the hypocrisy. Metro Siaga. Good Friday or Easter Monday. Why you don't talk about your one that for merge, Metro Siaga? I'm going to ask it again. Good Friday or Easter Monday. Why you don't want that to be merged? Only no want to merge because only take up the whole other weekend, go fling up on a body naked in the street. I don't know, go along with yourself with a dirty carnival on the road. What can go so? But because I fool no picnic them, I keep the carnival and I make the billions of dollars. For themselves, not for the poor people in this country. Col make we say colonizers. Colonizers, colonizers Jamaica. Yeah. Make we talk about the colonizers in this country. Merge that. Merge co colonizers. Merge Easter Sunday. Metro Siaga. Merge it, colonizer metri. Sight after me colonizers. Jamaica people, they don't have a problem with the carnival. They do have a problem with the Christmas and the boxing day. The after. But they have a problem with independence and emancipation. But if you remember the history, I remember a lot of them. A lot of them don't know the history, you know. Even the owners of estate and the colonizers, the argument about two holidays happened even before our independence, you know. I bet a lot of people didn't know that. This argument about merging independence and emancipation is a discussion that is happening decades ago the colonizers were having it so when i see the metro siaga and all of them coming out talking about them want this thing to be done in our particular way i said to myself look at the societal hypocrites but i'm happy that pj fixed them business and i'm happy that the chief justice fixed them business you know people of jamaica if you don't stand for something you are going to lose everything and when I see the private sector organization can talk about this, but them silent on so many other national issues. They're silent on so many other national issues, but when it comes on to our independence, imagine your political independence, Jamaica. Your political independence. Imagine your emancipation. Do you know what it was like? 1738, when we accept that. I don't think. I do remember the emancipation process, Jamaica. You remember when black people were liberated from slavery? Do you know how of a jubilant day it was called August morning? Do you know how your forefathers, 1838, how your forefathers danced in the cane field when the hero freedom? Do you remember the anguish your forefathers got 
with those strips. You remember those whipping, those lashing that the forefathers got? Many of you don't remember it. But remember, August morning is a beautiful morning. It happened 1834, and we got four years of apprenticeship. Many of you don't know your history. I'm far, sorry for the generations to come, you know. Because many of them don't know where we are coming from. Many of them don't understand the concept of freedom. Many of them don't understand how beautiful freedom is. So Metri Siaga and the POSOJ and all of Uno combine. When you have Uno dirty carnival and them something there, nobody talking about it. But you know them foolish. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how them foolish, Jamaica. The same way carnival is productive and beneficial. Are you aware that the Jamaica Emancipence Weekend can also be profitable? I'm going to say it again. The same way a carnival is profitable. But when we hear the argument, the argument that makes sense to me. Because Metri, one of your people in the POCJ, who is also a labor right, keep one of the biggest dream weekend, that's all. Mm -hmm. And the amount of millions they make and billions they make from that. Want to weave a K in the arm. Um, oh, curious. There is a lot of money that is being made in the orange economy metry. That, to me, can be capitalized even more beautifully. Every parish, you know what? Me not talk them something. That when the PNP come in power, me talk to the new minister of uh, creative industry. Me not go no figure who no go run with it. Let me shut my mouth. <laughs> me not me not me not talk that part. They not talk that part. They no, bridle me tongue, lad. Bridle me tongue. Bridle me tongue. Cause then always take my idea, then run with it. But I can tell you, Jamaica. Beautiful, beautiful things can happen. That weekend. But no man is true. It's not going to fit them packet, you know, Courtney. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. No, no it's not going to fit them packet, but productivity. <laughs> yeah.